Allo, 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 testing one, two, one, two, on est live All right, hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And today is all about Facebook Meta and haptic glove technology, because Facebook Meta are indeed, not to anybody's surprise, in hot boiling water yet again. A couple of articles we're going to go through, but first, oh guys, I'm so excited. Let me just, let me transition over and just show this to you, because it is super Super awesome. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. Now we got a sponsor. Sponsor. Oh man, VR Wave. We've been working with these guys for more than a year and they actually sponsored us three videos. So that is awesome. Thank you so much. We're going to be talking about their products, guys. They do really awesome stuff from lens, prescription lenses uh, to different kind of accessories. Now they have carrying cases, face cover, halo strap, controller covers. Man, they got a whole bunch of different things going. It's pretty amazing. And in fact, if I just go here, here we go. So VR wave lens is correct. Nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. Now that is pretty awesome because I'm actually astigmatic. astigmatic. Um, users can literally enjoy perfect vision in VR uh, using the Quest 2, the HP Reverb G2, the PSVR, uh, also the DJI, the HTC Vive. I mean, a whole bunch of different things. Uh, no discomfort to fit the eyeglass into small headset. Quest 2 lenses, magnetic design, enable easy sharing. That's very true. Now we've done a whole bunch of different videos uh, on the channel, just so you know. So if we just go here again, and then we go to YouTube, uh, VR Essentials. Let me just go to our channel, your channel. There we go. And then we just open up this video here. You'll basically see that, uh, let me just get rid of the ad. Bam, 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 bam. Two, one, zero, here we go. Uh, you'll see in the video, basically I go through the actual testing. Uh, I've actually tested the lenses. They sent us lenses, guys. They are amazing, the VR Wave lenses, uh, prescription lenses, honestly speaking. Uh, both for the HP and the Quest 1, which I tested. They haven't Quest, haven't tested Quest 2, but it's the same. Uh, and they're just astonishing. Really love them. Um, VR Wave lens protect the inbuilt lenses from scratches. Yes, we know that. That's very true. Uh, VR Wave now offer uh, other Quest 2 accessories, as I just mentioned, face uh, cover, halo strap, and carrying cases. Uh, they also will be doing a promotion on Cyber Monday, guys, Black Friday and Christmas. So do make sure you go to the website and enjoy all the promotions and discounts. The discount is going to be very generous, guys. So make sure you go to vr-wave.store to the website to check out all the promotions. Uh, they also have a blue light filter option and anti-glare option uh, to protect your eyes from strains and also prevent sleep disruption due to blue light. So guys, do go and check all this out. Uh, it is really, really awesome. Honestly speaking, I love the products. So go and check it out. VR-Wave, DOS Store, awesome promotions coming up. So let's transition over to today's uh, video now because this is something that is amazing. Amazing. Uh, okay, here we go. All right, so basically uh, the first article that I got is from my good friends at Crypto Telegraph, which is a industry publication for cryptocurrencies. As you know, I trade crypto and I read trade journals. This is one of them. And they say VR Metaverse comes closer to reality as Meta previews haptic gloves. Now, there is two stories, all right? So this is story number one. Meta says this was printed on November 18, by the way, and today is the 19th, so just one day ago. Meta says, or Facebook, the VR gloves rely on haptic rendering, send precise instructions to the actuators on the hand and outlined a vision where people's sensations match what they are doing in the metaverse. So basically, new kind of haptic technology that they're working on or releasing or letting us know about. Um, and, and there's going to be a shocking new story, so just wait for it. A uh, meta company known, formerly known as Facebook, is diving straight into virtual reality with a preview of its latest research and development and haptic gloves. On Tuesday's blog, Meta shared the latest breakthroughs in haptic glove research from its VR tech firm, Reality Labs. Now renamed, by the way, guys, Meta Reality Labs. Uh, nothing that the products have been seen uh, have been seven years in the making. Well, that's quite quite a lot apparently, seven years in the making. Uh, Meta states, uh, let me just make it bigger so you can see. Meta states that its haptic glove project started as a moonshot, but it's becoming closer to being a reality due to advancements in perceptual science, soft robotics, 
microfluidics, uh, hand tracking and haptic rendering. So this is what we know so far that they basically developed some, you know, haptic stuff, um, you know, and, 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 and you know, that, that's all we really know at, at, at the moment. There's not so much in terms of, uh, you know, there's, there isn't like videos and all that I can find right now anyway. Uh, there might be some release by the time this video is ended. Uh, but that's all we really know. They've worked on something. Now, let me show you the second article because this is shocking and it honestly doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me, guys. They took the meta name without asking anyone and then pay a bunch of money to the people who are basically going to sue them for it. Um, and, and please watch until the end of the video because we need to talk about this more in depth. Now, first of all, before we go to the second article, um, there are some competitors around. One of them is called Manus-VR.com who have their own way of doing the technology. I have to say it looks pretty cool. Uh, it looks very nice in terms of what they're doing. I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, then we have Dixta Robotics, who, who are basically the most famous ones, I think, so far, uh, because we have Natey who did a video about them. And also, I think Kess and Cherry did a video too. Uh, a whole bunch of different videos. But they look really out there uh, in terms of what they're doing. I mean, check this out if the video can load. Okay, never mind. We'll load it later. I mean, look at this design. It looks super sweet. They're based in China and they're doing amazing as well. Uh, I think I put a video here, if I'm not wrong. Where is it? Dextora. Mm. Dextora Haptics. Let's check it out. Uh, VR. There we go. It's here. Um, yeah, we, we'll, we'll check out. Is it Natey who did the video? Where are you? There we go. Here it is. Uh, brilliant video, Natey, if you're watching today's video. Um, yeah, really, really amazing content that you did there. I really, really loved it. So, I mean, this, check this out. It just looks amazing. I mean, he's playing piano there. I have to take off the sound because otherwise I might get flagged for copyright sound infringement. But this is amazing. Look at this stuff. And it look, I mean, they look just, wow, out of, out of this world. It looks like an art piece uh, more than something you know, useful, but it is useful. You know, it does what it's set out to do. Um, and then we, we have other people uh, in the, we also have VR Glove uh, in the industry as well. And they're doing something that I think is also pretty cool. So different technologies, you know, will cost different pricing. Uh, will also render the haptic feedback uh, different as well. The response will be different. The latency will be different. The size will be different. The weight will be different. The usage will be different. The why you use it for will be different. You know, all these kind of different things. Um, so I do like what VR Glove uh, are doing as well. This is this is Sense Club. Okay, we'll talk about them in just a minute. Uh, I think, okay, VR Glove. Let's check it out as well because it's pretty cool. Uh, VR Glove haptics. There we go. I literally thought I had everyone already ready to go for the video, but never mind. Uh, VR Glove, where are you? Okay, I don't see them, so never mind. Let's just go back to the website. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's oh, here's a here's a demo. We took it even further by developing our own proprietary haptics technology that features active force feedback. This is With amazing. VR Glove, you can feel the size, shape, motion, and stiffness of any virtual object. Really amazing stuff. By physically stopping your fingers from moving and measuring how hard you're squeezing, VR Glove provides dynamic haptic sensations that actually feel real and are completely responsive based on the inputs you provide with your... Feels real, man. Feels real. And then we have Sense Glove here, also one of the pioneers uh, in this space. You can see the Pico Neo 2's uh, headset on there. They might want to update the picture to a Pico Neo 3 Pro if you guys are watching. But yeah, they're doing really cool stuff. Um, Sense Glove, I believe I put them... Uh, here, so here's a technology. I mean, look at this as well. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna not put the music on because I really don't want any, any issues with copyright infringements. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this. He's wearing the Pico Neo 2 here, and 
again, I mean, it's getting lighter and lighter. It's getting smaller and smaller. I guess these things need battery maybe to, you know, to, to be used. I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I have to do more research on it. But since Glove is another one of the pioneers in the industry, one of the most, you know, more well-known brands that's been around for quite a while uh, in developing stuff. And you know, if you go to the website as well, there'll be case studies there. I'll put a link in the description below to all the various different, uh, you know, guys we've been showcasing today uh, for the, you know, haptic feedback uh, for sure. And then lastly, now this leads me to this article, um, is haptics who have been around for quite a long time and they're also one of the more well-known brands. Check this out. Got music as well. So um, again, the technology looks, uh, yeah, it's quite, I mean, it is pretty, pretty out there as well. I mean, check this out. Look, look at the size of this thing. Look at I mean, it might not be, of course, the, the the video might not be up to date in terms of the products that they actually have today, but it looks really amazing. I'd love to try it. All these sensors, I mean, it looks just out of this world, really out of this world. And I can't wait. I mean, it's amazing how, you know, we want to be in VR and, and but yet we want to feel like we're in the real world, right? Like graphics are going to look more super hyper realistic. Uh, we're going to start feeling things. We're basically recreating life itself, guys. We're, we're recreating the matrix. We're not happy in the world we are in. We, we want to go into another world that looks like the world we're in. I mean, isn't it freaking amazing, ironic, you could say? So I'm just having a, a bit of a giggle here. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that technology looks really amazing. So this leads me to today's second article, which is all about what happened? What happened? Haptic says that Meta copied its painted design for haptic gloves. And look at this picture. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So Meta Reality Labs, right? Haptics company, Haptics from The Verge, by the way, guys, this is The Verge, claims Meta, formerly known as Facebook, copied its painted designs. Uh, and please watch until the end of the video, guys. We need to talk about this. In a glove that the tech giant revealed yesterday, Haptics, a long-time player in the virtual reality, augmented reality industry, says part of the glove appears substantively identical to its own work using pneumatic to simulate physical touch. We welcome interest and competition in the field, however, uh, sorry, there's no however, uh, of microfluidic haptics, however, or there is a however, competition must be fair for the industry to thrive, said haptics founder and CEO Jake Rubin in a statement. While we have not yet heard from Meta, we look forward to working with them to reach a fair and equitable arrangement that addresses our concerns and enables them to incorporate our innovative technology in the future consumer product and on twitter i think this is a twitter post our statement on meta microfluidic glove prototype here so i just clicked on the link and then it it, it basically puts here so over the last decade haptic has pioneered in the field of microfluidic haptic feedback our award-winning technology has been widely covered in the popular and technology press and we've worked tirelessly to develop and promote this unique benefit of microfluidics as an approach to high fidelity haptic feedback why with the long-standing dedication of our engineers developers and investors we have also secured our industry leading patent portfolio to protect our technology and products in interacting with other companies in the vr industry we have always believed that cooperation in the paramount is paramount sorry to the development of the industry as a whole over the years we've hosted many engineers researchers and executives from meta to demonstrate our groundbreaking haptic technology so this basically states guys that facebook had direct access to the actual technology in being able to see it up close before they decide to copy it if of course it gets proven that they did allegedly copy it as per the statement. Today Meta announced their own prototype microfluidic haptic feedback glove. The core component of this prototype, including the silicon-based microfluidic tactile feedback, laminate and pneumatic control architecture appears to substantively be identical to haptics painted uh, technology. So let me just try and find it. So Meta uh, microfluidic uh, haptic haptic glove. Let's check it out. Let's see if we get a picture out of it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bam. Let's go here. Can't really get any pictures out other than this one. So they say that this picture 
uh, is basically the same as current uh, haptics. So let's just check out haptics uh, micro fluidic uh, VR glove. Uh, -pa -pa Wish I could see it. Let's go to Haptics website. Maybe it's there. Is it haptics.com? Yeah, it is. Okay, so they do a whole bunch of different things. Um, robotics, technology. I mean, the, the gloves on the website don't look at all the same as the glove that we see on the picture, uh, where's here. I mean, it looks very different, but it is very possible that the technology that they're talking about is not yet on the website, basically. Let me just put it side by side, because uh, I don't see it on the website, but it's very clear that these guys are extremely serious players in what they're doing. Uh, so in terms of research and development, there's probably a lot of stuff um, that we haven't seen yet, right? So um, let's go back to the article of The Verge. Here we go. So Meta Gloves is in uh, in progress design that won't be commercialized for years, if ever. However, Meta Reality Labs, the VR, um, the gloves uses inflatable rubber pads and a sophisticated control system to create a sensation of pressure or resistance. Haptics, formerly known as Avon X Exxon VR, sorry, debuted publicly in 2016 after four years in stealth mode. However, met meta researchers from Facebook say they developed uh, the first glove prototype in mid-2015, not long after the tech giant acquired VR startup Oculus. However, Meta has substantially expanded on its initial prototype and Haptics claim that the the two companies have had extended inter interactions over the years. We've hosted many engineers, researchers, uh, yeah, as, as, as per the Twitter. Um, so basically, they've accused Meta has been accused of unfairly competing against VR software developers by cloning the products while limiting access to the Quest platform. Now, this is a thing that's quite true, especially with uh, there was a big big hoo ha, uh, guys. I don't know if you if you remember this with. Um, do you guys remember what happened with um, uh, uh, with, with uh, Guy Godin's technology uh, VR desktop? The so sorry. Uh, let me just Guy Godin. Uh... Oh, man, I had it. Oh man, sometimes my brain just goes uh, virtual reality desktop. Uh, you know his his technology that he's doing. Uh... Wait, give me a minute. Let me just transition over again. Uh, Guy Godin, Oculus Quest Store. Sorry about that, guys. I just, I literally just had virtual desktop. Sorry, I just had a memory blank. Oh my god, absolutely amazing when it happens to me. So yeah, uh, I don't know if you remember, but basically, you know, Guy Godin had a uh, you know virtual desktop which enable you to stream, you know, to the PC wirelessly, whilst there was the cable and oculus refused to have that on the store we'd never know why we never knew why but then eventually they caved in they put it on and then you know we know that facebook uh, came out with their own uh, air link eventually and we're like okay what's going to happen um so you know it, it it has happened before it's very true and also uh, it might have happened on another product but oh with euro of course now they're making it very difficult for euro that you know facebook have released uh meta's uh What's it called? You know, the um, the thing with the sensors to tell you about your calories and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, they, they, they do play it nasty, um, for sure, in the world of VR as much as they do uh, in, in the other worlds. That's, that's for sure. Uh, something that could potentially lead to legal action. So now what I want to talk about, guys, is also this. What I'm unhappy about is this. Bear with me. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. I understood. I understand that they took the word meta away from everyone, trying to redefine metaverse because the ticker on the Nasdaq is going to change December 1st, I think, or January 1st, I can't remember the exact date, um, to metaverse. So they're eventually, basically, they're going to be known as metaverse on the Nasdaq stock exchange, not meta. Um, now, they've taken the name, they've decided to take the name. What annoys me the most is that they're going to spoil the name Metaverse because 
all the loose lawsuits that are happening by the way there's some new lawsuits happening in uh, Detroit is not under Facebook anymore it is under the meta uh, meta name so basically metas the term meta or the term metaverse is going to be dragged down through the mud completely stamped over and I feel that you know metaverse deserves respect it shouldn't be a word that is trampled upon it shouldn't be a word associated with lawsuits uh, data privacy leaks uh, le copying plagiarism it shouldn't be associated to those kind of things so we really need to come up with a new word guys something else and then then meta I, you know something else i mean we should we should come up with something guys to replace the word now we have the meta business podcast that comes out every sunday make sure you hit the enable bell after you subscribe of course i'm going to use the word meta because i want the channel to grow but we need to change the word guys we need to change that word to something else because it's going to get dragged down with all these other lawsuits but guys here you go here you have it this is what we wanted to talk about today haptic technology hope you found this um, video insightful and learning about new stuff that's going around and again vr-wave.store big promotions coming up go and check out the website um, I think it's 20% off or 15 to 30% off let me just double check very quickly uh, the email so I can give the actual proper insight. I want to know if he actually told me the discount in the email. Bam, 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 bam. No, I don't have any details of the actual discount itself. But guys, it's going to be a huge discount, really big. So, you know, head over to the website. As I mentioned before, 19th of November, uh, sorry, um, the, the the promotions are going to be on Cyber Monday, Black Friday and Christmas. So write down those dates in your, uh, you know, just write down those dates. Make sure that you got those dates pinned down so you can go to the website and enjoy tons of cool discounts because the products are really amazing. Guys, have a lovely weekend. I'll see you on the Meta Business Podcast on Sunday. Take care, if not before and in the comments below. Bye.